I think my biggest fear coming over was was the unknown about the medical uh, system over here. So uh, not knowing uh, if your skills will translate to a different system. My name is Wade Steadman. I'm one of the ICU fellows at Sunnybrook Hospital. So I'm one of the international fellows. Uh, I'm here for one year at Sunnybrook Hospital. I'm doing a clinical fellowship for one year, uh, originally from Australia, so I came over from Sydney just to do this year. Uh, Dr. Fennick, it's Wade, it's Wade Steadman here, I'm one of the ICU fellows. I, I sort of now, feel, I know what it must feel like when you're trying to learn a different language in a different country because it felt like I was more tired at the end of a day here in Canada than I would be at the end of a normal day back in Australia. So all those little things that you keep looking up and second guessing and um, even the accent, like if I say something that I think straightforward, I don't know whether maybe the nurse didn't understand my accent or maybe it's actually the drug's the wrong drug. and. So you're constantly second-guessing uh, what you're doing and I would probably think more about work at the end of a day here than I would think about work when I go home back in Australia. The help starts like before you even get here so you know the, the admin staff are really helpful with all the paperwork and the visas and the work permits and all that sort of stuff. Um, but then once you actually get here really it's more informal so you get to um, the people who you work with might have already been here for six months or a year. So I think everyone makes an effort in a small way and together um, you know, makes the transition really uh, manageable. <laughs> Not easy, but um, manageable, yeah. So this was the ultimate bachelor pad about three weeks ago. Socially, things were really difficult still up until three weeks ago when my wife arrived. Yeah, so. Um, having my wife here, uh, she's been here for three weeks now um, and three weeks out of five months is not very long so um, yeah it's obviously great. <laughs> What's really important is you've just got to know your limits and I think very quickly you realise that you are in a different system and people don't expect you to turn up and operate at you know, a senior fellow level on day one because you've come from a different country, uh, you're still getting to know the system. So. I think as long as you take a step back, let people help you, ask questions and uh, make a real effort to meet people because it's the social contact that at the end of the day is the thing that's going to make life uh, a lot more straightforward because uh, work will be there tomorrow and <laughs> if you don't have something to look forward to uh, after work then uh, it's a bit harder to relax I think and you can spend a lot of time just dwelling on work.